Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Kendall and here we talk about all things makeup and all things makeup related and sometimes we talk about other stuff. Today, one of those days, we're still going to talk about some makeup, but we're also going to talk about some other things that have just like completely taken over my life in the past few weeks, few months, give or take. It is time for another favorites video and I'm so excited about this one because I have pulled some top-notch stuff for you guys. <laughs> this video is going to be a mixture of makeup, books, jewelry, nail polish, beverages, so many different things. I'm very excited to talk about each and every one of them so let's not make this intro too long and go ahead and jump right into it. In my last video I did, I mentioned how Dossier sent me over a bunch of different perfumes to try. I think they sent me eight. Thank you so much, Dossier. I mentioned in that video that I'm gonna start like kind of just like sprinkling in like mini perfume reviews. And I figured since this is a favorites video and Dossier has quickly become one of my favorite perfume brands, I thought I would mention it. Dossier did send me all these perfumes that I'm talking about, including the one that I'm gonna be talking about today. I'm not being paid to talk about these perfumes, but I do have a code with them and I will have that linked down below if you're interested. I think it saves you 10% off your purchase if you do decide to use it and purchase anything from their website. So Dossier's whole thing is that they make perfumes that are inspired by designer perfumes. And by designer perfumes, I mean like upwards of 300 plus dollar perfumes. And they make them for a fraction of the price. I wish I could sit here and compare the designer perfume to the Dossier perfumes so I could tell you if they actually smell similar. But a lot of the times with these perfumes is they're not cruelty free. And they also cost, like I said, upwards of $300. Today I want to talk about the scent called Ambery Saffron. Now this is supposed to be inspired by MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540. And the retail price for the Baccarat Rouge 540 is $300. And the Dossier Ambery Saffron is $49. So this is what the little bottle looks like. It's got a nice little magnetic closure lid and you get 1.7 ounces of product. So I've been wearing this one for about a week or so to kind of just feel it out. And I really do like it. The top notes are saffron and orange blossom, middle notes of jasmine, plum, and cedarwood, base, base notes of oak moss, fir, balsam and amber it just smells fresh and clean like it smells like fresh laundry if you use like a scented dryer ball and, and you probably are like i don't want to smell like a dryer ball but it smells really nice it smells super clean it's not headachey the big thing with me and scents is i don't like anything too strong i don't like anything too sweet and a lot of scents give me headaches this one is fine. It's just like a clean, fresh smell. Do I like it better than my floral marshmallow one? No. The floral marshmallow one, that's the one that I reviewed in my last video, 10 out of 10. That one still has my top spot, but this is still a really nice scent. If you, so if you are interested in checking out any of the Dossier perfumes, they have so many to choose from. They have men's, women's, unisex, you name it, they got it. I will have all the information linked in the description bar. So next I need to talk about some jewelry. This was also sent to me, but oh my God, <laughs> I'm so obsessed with it. I love it so much. So this brand reached out to me and they're called Be Kind. The whole brand is based around bees. And if you don't know, bees are a huge, huge part of the reason we are all still alive and breathing and living. <laughs> like if the bees go, we go, okay? So their whole brand is based around being an advocate for bees because bees are super important. They said our jewelry brand was created with the mission to help protect bee colonies around the world. We donate 10% of each purchase to Pollinator Partnership and other nonprofits. Immediately I was like, yes, of course, no brainer. I would love to talk about your products. And they were like, great, pick out two pieces of jewelry from our site. And then if you wanna show them off in a YouTube video, kind of explain who we are. So here we are. I'm explaining to you about Be Kind. <laughs> so I picked out two pieces of jewelry and I'm wearing them right now and I will show you them in just a second, but they actually sent me three. So I'll show you the packaging. The packaging, you guys, is so cute. I am obsessed. So this is how your package comes. The jewelry will be inside this adorable box. I about died when I opened up my package. 
how perfect would this be for a gift for somebody? Immediately I was thinking like Mother's Day. Like, this is such, I feel like, a mom gift to give. My mom would love this. This is the uh, surprise item that they sent me. I did not pick this one out, so I kept it in the box. And it is this cute little sunflower bracelet. I'm probably gonna give this one to a friend or family member because I don't really wear bracelets because every time I do wear bracelets, they get caught on something. It never fails. They always get caught on something and they break and like beads fall. So I'm just like kind of terrified to wear bracelets from now on, but nonetheless, so stinking cute. I have a thing with bees. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on this channel. But I've just always loved like bees. Like I have bee clothing items. I have a bag with like an embroidered bee on it. I have a bag with like a beaded bee on it. I've just always kind of been really in to bees. These are some stickers that they sent me. We have a cute little sunflower. I've been dying to stick these on my water bottle, but I wanted to show these to you guys first. And this one says, you are the light of the world. And then this one's my favorite. A little money honey bee. So I don't know. I'm assuming they send stickers with every order. I could be wrong, but I just, so cute. So cute. So the necklace that I picked out for myself, <sighs> what I'm wearing right now, it is this super cute gold sunflower necklace. Super cute, right? Who doesn't love sunflowers? But wait, it opens up and it says, you are my sunshine. <laughs> I think it is just like the sweetest thing. Like how great would this be for a gift if you gave this to like your mom or your sister or your best friend or I don't know, anybody in your life. And when I saw this ring, I about lost my ever loving mind. So I love rings as you can tell, <laughs> but this one, this one is so cute. It is a little honeybee and he's sitting on a little drip of honey. How cute. Well, I haven't done this yet, but I'm sure it's gonna happen when I'm gonna run my fingers through my hair and this is gonna get caught and I'm gonna be stuck like this for a good five minutes, but you know what? I don't even care. It's just the cutest little bee and he just sits on your finger. And my favorite part about this ring is it's adjustable, as you can see. It doesn't, close all, it doesn't close all the way around so you can put it on any finger. So if you're someone that loves bees or you know somebody that loves bees, I think this would be such a cute gift to give. I do have a code with them. I don't make any money off this code. It's just for you to use. My code is Kendall20. I'll have that right here and also down below. So use that and you'll be able to get 20% off your purchase. So you can shop for something cute for yourself or for your friend and you can also help save the bees. Win-win. Let's talk about something that is fully taken over my life, and that is the Akatar series, uh, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I, the series isn't over yet, but uh, the author, Sarah J. Mass, has not given any sort of breadcrumb as to when the next book is going to be released. I heard rumors that it might be in 2023, and I'm not well. That doesn't sit well with me, Sarah. I know this is going to sound so cheesy, but these books have honestly just like done something to my soul that I cannot explain. I feel like I found out so much about myself in those books and it's a fantasy series. And if you're anything like me, when I first read the synopsis for these books, I was like, that sounds so dumb. <laughs> this is the first book, by the way, if you're interested, it's called A Court of Thorns and Roses. And then there's four books in the series after this one, more to come too. I've never been into like fantasy books, fantasy series, but <laughs> I feel like I've just like opened up a can of worms with these because now I have so many like fantasy series on my like reading list. I've had a few of you message me on Instagram saying like, I read the first book and I've already ordered the rest of them. I love them. I'm obsessed. And I'm like over here trying to act shocked. Like, of course you're obsessed. Like, would I steer you wrong? No, we're friends. I would not recommend a bad book to you. <laughs> I flew through the first four books. Like it took me like maybe a week and a half, two weeks to finish the first four because I like, you can't put them down. So I wasn't looking forward to reading this one because it's told in a different character's point of view and I wasn't looking forward to it, but oh my gosh, I have completely changed my mind about that. This was so good. Author's note is like for every Nesta out there, climb the mountain. <sighs> If you've read the books, you know, it's just like, 
it's so good and it's just the story the story I can't get past so just freaking read it okay freaking read it <laughs> preface they're not sad books but just the message gets to me you know and I think that's what makes it so great but yeah been loving those <laughs> I'm currently reading the Crescent City series by the same author. I'm, I haven't gotten very far in it. I'm just like in the first few chapters, but so far I've been really liking it. And also I got a Kindle. It's the collaboration we've all been waiting for. Kindle X Kindle. I got the Kindle Paperwhite, super fun. I'm really excited. I have Kindle Unlimited. There's so many books that I was actually like wanting to read that are on Kindle Unlimited. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. Okay, so I, I had to talk about the Akatar books because of what I'm about to talk about next. So <laughs> I accidentally ended up uh, starting a book talk on TikTok. So if you don't know, book talk is basically a TikTok account that is all about books, whether it be like reviewing books, talking about books, you know, and everything in between. I posted a TikTok about A Court of Thorns and Roses. Didn't think anything of it, okay? Just was like, okay, this is fun. Went to bed, woke up. It had over 100,000 views, 100,000 views. And like the algorithm is still like pushing it out. So I took that as a sign to keep making more. And now I can't be stopped. <laughs> I've been having so much fun making TikToks specifically about the Akatar series. And you're probably like, how many TikToks could she make about a book series? Love getting to be like creative in that sense and like putting things together. Like I, I have a whole thing on there where I take the audio from Shit's Creek, which is my favorite TV show and making it relate to stuff that happened in A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I've been having so much fun with it. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, I will have that right here and also down below. If you haven't read A Court of Thorns and Roses and like you don't wanna know what happens and you don't want any sort of spoilers, um, maybe don't watch my TikToks. But if you've read this series, please go follow me over there. I'm having so much fun and I've been meeting so many other content creators that are just as obsessed with the series as I am. So I'm having too much fun. <laughs> too much fun over on TikTok. So now I'm going to move on to some makeup related items. I want to talk about this little sponge and this little sponge holder. So cute. So I have never been into like the beauty blender, beauty blender brand. Wow, say that three times fast. I don't feel like paying 20 something dollars for a sponge. So I've always been using like off-brand sponges, Morphe sponges, things like that. And then I saw a bunch of people recommending the Shop Miss A sponge. They're super affordable. You get like a whole pack for like five bucks or something. They're really nice sponges. I can't complain. They do the job so nicely and they're super inexpensive. Shop Miss A also has these beauty blender holders. Is this something that you need? No, but I love it because I never know what to do with my beauty blender. I hate just setting it on my vanity. I mean, I wipe down my vanity almost every single day, so it's not like it's touching anything, but I don't know. I don't like it just sitting by itself. This is just the perfect little holder. I have three of these. I believe they're like $3 a piece. They might be less than that, but I love them. I think they're so cute and they just, look at that. They just cradle them like a baby. So I wanted to mention that. Next, I wanna talk about the Natasha Denona Biba palette, baby. This was on my wish list for like a year and a half. I wanted this palette so bad because it is the perfect ultimate neutral palette. This to me is what dreams are made of. This is all I want. It's boring. It's basic. It's beautiful. It's $125. <laughs> so no way in hell was I going to pay $125 for an eyeshadow palette. I just think I can't. If you can do that and you can feel good about it, go off. I love it. So I waited and I got some gift cards for Christmas and I finally purchased this and I have used it every single day since. I love it so, so much. It's what I have on my eyes right now, what I've been wearing. I have to force myself to use other palettes. The quality, impeccable. The colors, love it. 
the shimmers, outstanding. I have not a singular bad thing to say about this palette, except for the fact that I wish it wasn't $125. Would I recommend you pay $125 for it? No, don't do that. Wait for the Sephora VIB sale or wait till Natasha Denona has like a bundle deal or a sale. It has quickly become like the top, top tier palette in my collection and I can't stop using it. I recently did a video where I talked about Glossier products and oh my God, the Glossier boy brow has been something that I've been using every single day. I can't believe I haven't used this before. This is so good. This has the perfect amount of tint to give to my brows. I have pretty thick, pretty unruly brows, I would say. And this, ugh, this is so good. Before this, I was using the Refi like brow lam lamination and I would use that and then I would go back in with a brow pencil and that worked fine, but it was just a lot of different steps. This is so quick and so easy and it does the job. Just go in, flick those brows and they are good to go. It doesn't give the same amount of like super glue hold, but I really do prefer this one. It just looks so effortless is the word I'm looking for. It just looks effortless and easy peasy and I love it so much. So this is the lip combo that I've been going to lately. It's what I have on my lips right now. I have been so obsessed with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade O oh Snap. I've had this for a while and I just recently started using it again and it is just like the perfect shade of like a neutral brownie pink. For me, it is like a your lips but better. I love the way it glides so easy. For me, in my opinion, it's mistake proof and I am not good at applying lip liner. I have very shaky hands and it just goes on so nicely. And then I've been using the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip what is this called? Forget the filler, lip plumping, line smoothing gloss. I've talked about this product a few times in a few different videos, and I've always said while I like it, I prefer other glosses better. Like my favorite lip gloss of all time, hands down, is the Too Faced Hangover Pillow, Pillow Bomb lip glosses. Those are my favorite. This one, I've been using with this lip liner, and it just looks so nice. This one, in my opinion, for me, this just feels a bit too sticky for my liking, but it just, it looks so good on the lips. This is in the shade Daisy Pink, and it's not like super pigmented, but it just gives that nice like smidge of color, and I just think it's so, so pretty. Let's talk about my favorite beverage at the moment. It is these AHA sparkling waters. AHA? AHA. 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 This is what it is. <laughs> they come in a bunch of different flavors. They even have caffeinated ones, which I try to stay away from caffeinated drinks unless it's obviously my beloved coffee because I, caffeine affects me so hard. Like if I have anything caffeinated after like 2 p.m., I'll be up all night. Uh, but I've been really, really loving these. I used to be a huge fan of LaCroix. I was a proud LaCroix drinker. That's all I had. This knocks it out of the park. My favorite flavor, it is the lime and watermelon flavor. It is so good. They're so refreshing, they're so crisp. If you are a sparkling water fan like me, definitely try out this brand, try out this flavor. Trust me, just trust me. I've been on a nail polish kick lately and I've been really loving the brand Loud Liqueur. Is it liqueur or lacquer? I guess it's lacquer. Loud lacquer. <laughs> I went through a whole bottle of base coat and top coat from a different brand, so I needed to get some new ones. So I got uh, some from the Loud Lacquer brand and I love them. They work so good. And then I found my new favorite shade of red. This is from a collaboration that they did with Bailey Syrian, who, while we're talking about favorites, just one of my favorite human beings in general. <laughs> and this is the shade Red Rum. It's actually, oh my God, it's actually what I have on my nails right now. So that's what that looks like. I think it's such a really pretty shade of red. Of course, red nail polish is red nail polish, but I just really like this one and it's held up super nice. I've had this polish on for probably about a week now. I have a few different nail polishes from Loud Lacquer, Obsessed. They're obviously cruelty free uh, and they have so many different options to choose from. I'm gonna try to do this without getting nail polish everywhere. Something that I love about these is the little brush. The way it's shaped, it fits over the nail so nicely and you're able to cover your whole nail with like one stroke, which 
some other brands that I've used, the brush is so tiny. I feel like it gets like, you have to go over your nail multiple times and it gets all clumpy. Big fan of this. If you're looking for some new nail polishes, definitely check out Loud Lacquer. That, that, all right, so that is it for my current favorites. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Let me know down below if you've tried anything that I've mentioned. I'm super curious to hear. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean so much to me and give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. Go ahead and follow me on TikTok if you haven't already, and I will have my Twitter and Instagram and all that good stuff linked down below if you want to follow me over there. So yeah, thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!